I don't know about most of you, but when we began researching web accessibility, we ran into a ton of conflicting information. It seems most of the information on accessibility requirements in law in regards to online multimedia is a particular person or group's interpretation. Some groups state that the law requires to always provide accessible content, while others lean on the side of accessibility only needs to be done when a request is officially filed by a disabled learner. In the College of Professional Studies, we feel we have a duty to make all required course materials accessible to all learners. So about a year ago, we adopted a college-level accessibility policy to guide our course development and assure, assure that we are fulfilling this duty. Our policy was shaped around the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, WCAG, 2.0 version, which covers a wide range of recommendations for making web content more accessible. If you're looking to develop your own policy or to get more information on accessibility guidelines, I would recommend reviewing these guidelines on the W3C's website and also looking into Web Accessibility in Mind, which is also known as, known as WebAIM, which is an initiative from the Center for Persons with Disabilities and Utah State University. Both of these sites are great resources, and I've provided links here to the specific areas of their websites that address video and captioning.